everyone. Welcome to One Creative Twin Mom. Today I'm going to show you how to sublimate a mug. So before we get started, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you. All right, let's jump right in. So I've already printed my design, so I'm not going to show you that part, but I do want to show you what I printed on. I printed on um, Printer Jack's inkjet sublimation paper. And what I did, I printed my image out and I went ahead and cut it so it's ready for me to wrap around my mug and press. And I also use the Epson printer, the 2720, ET2720, and I bought the Printer Jack Sublimation Ink. So if you guys are thinking about getting that. All right, so you also have to purchase a sublimation mug and here you go. So what you need to do is just go ahead and wipe your mug down really good. You don't want a whole bunch of fingerprints and everything on it. All right. And you basically just take your image and it's going to be face down. When I printed the image, I did make sure to hit mirror. So my mirror was on. So once I lay my image on the mug, just like this. Just lay your image right there and make sure it's lined up. Once you have your image on your mug, just keep your finger where you want it and you'll need heat resistant tape. Okay, so you'll take some of your heat resistant tape You just put it down right there where the image was sorry where the image is and on both sides before you apply your tape just make sure just make sure that this is snug your paper is wrapped around your mug super snug don't leave any gaps or crinkles in it okay so I just applied my heat resistant tape and I have my print on my mug. So the next thing I need to do, I've already started my heat press and it's already at 379. We need to press it for 190 seconds. So all I'm gonna do is insert my cup, pull the press back and start the timer. Let's check it out. Timer started. So I'm not gonna let you, I'm not gonna have you sit here and watch me, so I'm just gonna pause for a minute. Okay guys, so our time is up. We're gonna go ahead and open our mug press. All right, oh, you can see the steam. I do have heat resistant gloves, so that is a thing if you're, if you need that. So if you recall, originally when uh, before, prior to heat pressing, I showed you the image and it looked like this. It was a bit faded actually when you print it out. So once the heat actually hits the ink, it's supposed to turn it into a gas and this image should be much more vibrant. Okay, so let's go ahead and peel it and see what we're working with today. All right, guys, we hit the jackpot. Mug looks good. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So I just wanna thank you guys for watching my video today. If you found any of this content valuable, please do go ahead and like and subscribe. Happy pressing.